An agreement to resume grain shipment from Ukrainian ports through the Black Sea will be signed in Istanbul, Turkey today in a bid to resolve a global food crisis. According to Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu, it will be the first step towards the solution of the food crisis affecting the whole world. The agreement will be signed on Friday with the participation of Russia, Ukraine, the United Nations and Turkey. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres are expected to attend the signing ceremony, which will be held at the Doma Bahj Presidential Office in Istanbul. The agreement comes at a time when there are growing concerns about a global food shortage as a result of the protracted crisis in Ukraine, which is partially blamed for the food price hikes across the world. Turkey has long served as a mediator in the effort to establish a mechanism that will prevent a food crisis by enabling Ukraine to export its grain to the global market via sea routes. Turkey controls maritime traffic entering and exiting the Black Sea through the Bosphorus Strait. Istanbul will become an operational hub where the entire shipping process will be carried out according to Turkish officials previously. Former Russian Minister of Fuel and Energy Yuri Shafrank condemned the United States for raising the global price of liquefied natural gas or LNG after the country took years to become a major exporter of the LNG. In a recent interview with China Global Television Network, Shafranik noted that the U.S. has long sought to increase the gas export to Europe and took every step to make its gas more profitable. In 2010, the U.S. only produced 1.5 million tons of LNG but now the country produces a total amount of LNG reaching 80 million tons. He also explained that the U.S. has a purpose to make its gas profitable at all costs. Over the past 10 years, the price of the U.S. LNG has tripled, a result after the country became an LNG exporter.